Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Johnson & Johnson tapped Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing, that's in Grand Rapids, to finish and fill its vaccine doses. J&J says it started shipping their vaccine last night and expects to send 4 million doses across the country by the end of the week. Now, Graham officials say the single-dose vaccine was developed, tested, and manufactured here in less than a year. Employees say they have been working around the clock to pump out doses through the end of 2021. Well, a warning from the state's top doctor as Michigan ramps up vaccination efforts. Testing has dropped almost in half from as many as 60,000 a day in the fall to about 30 to 35,000 a day. Now, Dr. Joe Nay Caldoun says testing is critical to slowing the spread of COVID-19 and can help reopen the economy faster. Well, several sports put on hold in Montrose Community Schools. The superintendent reporting five positive COVID-19 cases at the high school on Friday leading to the suspension of JV and varsity boys and girls basketball and varsity wrestling. That's through next Monday. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Other uh, glad temperatures today should be a little bit nicer than yesterday and will actually warm up as we go throughout the day rather than cool down upper 30s to low 40s as we head into the afternoon. Know that it will be a little bit breezy today. Winds will come out of the southwest about 10 to 20 and occasionally gusts near 30 as we head into tonight. Those will eventually die down a little bit, but will keep us a little bit more mild overnight into tomorrow morning. So expect overnight lows to fall only into the upper 20s and low 30s as we go into our Wednesday. Your sky tracker also shows that we have a little cloud cover passing through to our north as well. Some of that may find its way into mid Michigan and lead to a few periods of partly sunny skies this morning, but I think most areas will keep the bright skies around pretty much through the day today and will stay dry too. That lasts right through your evening drive. Your seven day forecast shows temperatures in the 40s again tomorrow. A brief cool down behind that cold front on Thursday will be in the mid 30s tomorrow. Back near 40 on Friday, mid to upper 40s by Sunday and a chance of 50s early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.